Hello everyone, Android 15 has just officially came out in a beta form, so it's time for us to go and take a look at essentially how it holds up on the Pixel 6a and the 7a. Now both these phones are fairly close to one another, but I just wanted to kind of throw in the 6a in here too and the 7a together. Usually I don't review the A ones on Android betas, but a lot of people like these phones and I figured I might as well kind of look at it this year. Now Android 15, this first beta, came out to a very interesting size. It was about 2.68 gigabytes for the first beta. So I would recommend everyone do not install this first beta. You're going to have tons of issues, tons of problems. So don't even think about it. But I will say for the first beta, it is actually doing a pretty decent job, which is actually fairly interesting. It's still fairly smooth. It has, you know, issues and bugs that we're going to run into. But I do think for a first beta, it's actually quite impressive. The first thing that I did when I went and booted it up was I went into my about phone and see what it kind of looked like when it actually installed. And you can see for the most part for the Android version right here, it still just says vanilla ice cream. So I don't know if this is going to change. It still says that it's based on Android you know, 14. So when I tap on this, it still says Android 14. I'm not sure if this is going to change in the future, but as of right now, that's kind of what we're working with. Again, I guess we'll see what happens and I just found that out, but that's kind of it there. There's some cool features within Android 15 though. One, you are getting partial screen sharing. So this is something that's really cool. As of right now, I don't even know how to even, even enable this, but from the Android Authority website I've been looking at, it looks like we do have screen uh, partial screen sharing enabled, which is really cool. Satellite connectivity support is another cool thing that's enabled here. So if your phone supports it and if you pay for the extra capability, you should be able to invoke that and enact that within this new version of Android, which is honestly, again, very, very cool. Now there's a new like notification cooldown kind of option, which will essentially allow you to kind of, I guess, cool down the amount of notifications you're getting. I think this is a really cool thing. Again, I don't think this is enacted yet. I haven't been really been able to find a way to you know, kind of enable this, but it is a really cool thing that you have here, which is really awesome. The camera is also giving you some newer type of controls. So they're new in-app camera controls, which is really cool. So you can go through, I think the one is for a lower light exposure within the photo app. So there should be a little bit more capability here for the most part as well from that standpoint. So if you're wanting to go ahead and kind of lower the amount of brightness or if it's getting higher or whatever, you can kind of modify that here which again is another very cool thing you can kind of mess around with. On top of that, there's a new universal toggle for keyboard vibration. So if we make our way over to our settings application here, if we go into sounds and vibration, which is right here, at the very bottom, there's a new little option here somewhere that will allow us to go ahead and allow the vibration for our keyboard. It was either here or within our keyboard options, so charging sounds of vibration, tap and click sounds. I saw it on my Pixel 7, I guess I'm not seeing it here, but I was able to somehow find it. I don't remember how I found it the last time. I think it was actually within my keyboard options. So if I tap here, I hold down here, I think keyboard settings allowed me to see it somehow, but you basically will be able to see that here within this option as well, which again is another really cool thing going on here. You're also going to start getting a little pop-ups for sensitive notifications. So if you're getting sensitive notifications from your device, you should be able to see those little pop-ups here. But another really cool thing is under Bluetooth, you're now going to be getting these Bluetooth pop-ups here which is actually really cool. I'm kind of trying to remember if this was available before on Android, which it probably was in some form or fashion, but you are now getting this type of capability here, which is really nice. So these like pop-ups are really cool. Samsung you know, One UI has it, and now we're getting it on you know this one, and they're going to be more enhanced and more better just in general, which again is very cool. There's a lot of other cool improvements all over the place too. There's like big ones that are going to be coming out very, very soon, but for the top ones that I was able to see, those are the ones that I kind of liked. You're going to be getting, you know, just an overall better version of Android. But as I mentioned before, the big thing to keep in mind is that it's a, you know, work in progress. It's not going to be perfect. There's definitely going to be issues and problems with it. But when it officially comes out, I will definitely review it. And I genuinely cannot wait for it. But that's kind of how Android 15 is kind of holding up on both the Pixel 6a and the Pixel 7a. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.